What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I am so excited because I'm going to do some fall thrift shopping. I definitely have some stuff on my like fall wants list that I have written down in my phone that I don't already have in my wardrobe that I'm really excited to try to like look for. And also I'm really excited because today Everett, my husband, is able to join me thrift shopping. It's Saturday, so it's his day off so he has no excuse he can't go and do some work at Starbucks like he normally does he's coming with me but before we leave I just wanted to check in with you guys because I got a special package in the mail earlier this week and I'm so excited to share it with you guys this video is in collaboration with one of my very favorite perfume brands dossier I have done video collaborations with them in the past I have spent my own money on them at Christmas time I think I got like six fragrances for like a really good deal for Black Friday I absolutely love them as a company and what's more exciting is one I refilled on one of my very favorite scents from them and number two is they have some new scents that I haven't tried out and one of them I'm so stoked to show you guys. So first off, I will start off with my favorite one. It is right here. It comes in this really nice little box. And something I also really love about Dossier is they, for one, are all inspired by high-end fragrances. So if you know you really like an expensive fragrance, you can get an affordable alternative with Dossier because they're all like inspired by more expensive perfumes. And what's really awesome is they give you this little sample size right here. So you don't want to open up the big one. You want to use this one. Make sure that you like the smell. And once you've decided that you don't want to return it and you want to keep the scent, then you can open up the big one. But I feel like it's such a great way to have like a risk-free online shopping experience with fragrances it's something that i really feel like i need to make sure that i like the scent so that's just such a genius little way to make sure that i like the scent that it works with my body chemistry you know how scents smell different on everyone this one is oriental woody 2 which is inspired by mogler's angel which is such a popular perfume i'll actually show you the perfume it just looks like this right here very beautiful packaging i love it so much but to be 100% transparent with you guys, I actually use my Dossier one more. Sometimes I'll like mix them together, but something about the Dossier one smells a little bit more like honey to me. I feel like this scent is a very like particular scent. You either love it or you hate it. And for some reason I like it. I think it smells really good on my body chemistry and that honey in there. I don't know. It's just like my signature scent. I wear this all year round. I would love to spray it on myself, but I actually want to wear the other one that I've got today. But I figured I would just show you guys. Love it so much. Smells so good. If you like angel perfume, try this one because I legitimately think that this one smells better. Like this is a backup because I didn't want to run out of my other one. That I have. That's how much I love this one. Ah, I'm so excited for this one. When I was emailing the gals at Dossier, I like looked through their fragrances because I thought that I knew them all and I saw that they added new ones. And this one, I literally like gasped when I saw that they made a dupe fragrance for Le Labo Centel 33. Oh my gosh. That is such an expensive fragrance. Like I haven't pulled the trigger on buying that because it's a lot but i always smell it whenever i see it or like spray it when i am at a store that sells it and it smells so good you guys i love centel like the smell of centel is so good to me i have a little home fragrance that kind of is like a little bit of a centel smell and i once found another fragrance that was a Sintel smell, but it was just a little roller ball and I've never been able to find it again. I feel like Sintel 33 is such a hard fragrance to dupe. So when Dossier made a dupe for that one, I was like blown away. I'm pretty sure that their price structure on this one is going to be a little bit more expensive. Some of their fragrances are $29.99 and then some of them I think are going to be $39.99, but $40 compared to whatever Sintel costs, a few hundred dollars. I'm happy to pay the $40. I've cheated and already worn this because <laughs> I couldn't wait. I got this package actually a few days ago in the mail and this one might give my favorite a run for its money. Like these two smell so good, you guys. I love this fragrance and I'm so blown away about how much it does smell like Sintel 33. I will link everything for Dossier down below in the description box along with my discount code. I hope you guys end up finding a fragrance that you love at a more affordable price. They are so spot on with their fragrance formulas. Smells so much like or even sometimes better than the fragrance 
that they're duping. All right, you guys, enough about that. Let's really quickly go over a few of the things I have noted on what I'm looking for in the thrift store for like wintry stuff. I'm looking for a plain white button down. I noticed that I don't have one of these and I want something that kind of like sticks out underneath the collar of sweaters or like those sweater vests that are really popular right now. I noticed that I don't have any plain white button downs, which is so weird. Like I have such a big wardrobe and I don't even own one of those. So I'm looking for one of those. I'm also tempted to look for some Argyle, much more of that like preppy girl thing that's going on on like Instagram and Pinterest right now. A lot of Argyle and like schoolgirl stuff, not only for myself, but for my Poshmark and Depop closets. I am looking for sweater vests. I wanna try that trend and see if it's for me. I think that other girls look really cute in it. I just don't know if like, I feel like I can embrace it all the way, but I wanna look and try and then I'm also looking for the pleated short tennis skirts for my Poshmark and Depop. That's not necessarily something that like, I feel like I vibe with, but a lot of you guys have been asking for them. This is random, but I'm also looking for like little sweaters that I can use for my dogs to wear as like dog sweaters. I was thinking maybe if I look in like the little kids section, um, cause my dogs are like always cold in my house and it's starting to be fall. So I want to get them some little sweaters. All right, you guys, that's all I had on my list. Let's head off to our date day in the thrift store. <laughs> you guys, I live in Northern California and it's been super smoky where we where we live. And also in the like late summer, early fall, they turn off our power um, to prevent fires through our like- uh, Power supplier or utility company. So they turn off our power, so a lot of times it's really hard for me to film in the late summer, early fall, just because I don't have any electricity for like several days at a time. So my uploads might be a little bit spotty within the next like month or two, I would say, like till the end of October-ish and then it starts raining, it'll get better. And also you guys, honestly, I've just been having like so much creative burnout. So I know that my uploads have been a lot slower lately or I haven't been doing as many videos, but you guys, just so you guys know, I've just been feeling really burnt out and I've been trying to put up as many videos as I can, but I've been really busy with other work and just kind of like not feeling motivated or like creative or even that I really like want to film. So I just wanted to check in with you guys because a few of you guys have messaged me on Instagram being like, I miss you, like where's your uploads and I'm so sorry. I'm trying, you guys, as much as I can. I'll try to keep consistent, but if I do miss an upload, it could be because I have no power, or it could be just because I'm just not feeling it. It's not winter time here, that's smoke. Can't even take our dogs for walks. All right, you guys, here we are at Roseville Goodwill. I'm excited, this is my very favorite location. I'm starting at shoes today. Oh, these were here last time I was here. They're so cute. I love the color of these, but I don't like this style of boot. But I love that color. I actually really like these. <laughs> I just don't need them. Those are so cute. Those are kind of sick though. Can you tell I'm liking the snake print? <laughs> Those are cute too. So far, I have found these super cute boots. They're like a Western boot. I can't read the inside though, so they're too big for me. What size are they? It looks like they're really good quality, so I may be picking these up for my closet. I wish they fit me, but they don't. And then I have found a few dresses. This first one is kind of like a darker floral. So I feel like this would be good for like fall and winter time since it's a dark floral. And it's a size large from Forever 21. Has like little buttons up the front. I just feel like it's like an easy thing. You could put a cardigan over the front and make it really cute. Then I also found this gorgeous Free People dress. It's like cream and it has all these different tiers. So pretty, just throw a rust colored sweater over the top of this and I feel like it would be really nice. So I'm definitely gonna get this one. 
Okay, this jacket is just Old Navy, but I actually really like it. $10 though. Do I need this puffer jacket? I'll ask Everett. No fun pants today in my size, which I'm bummed about. I've seen a lot of really cute like plaids and like fall and wintry prints in other sizes, but not in my size. No corduroys either. Adriano Goldschmied. They sell this at Anthropology. They're a skinny ankle and I've been really into a more wide leg pant. So I'm gonna leave them behind, but that's a good price for this quality of jean. All right guys, I'm trying to go through some of my stuff. And so I figured I'd show you some of my go back. I saw this little like 70s brown button down blouse. It's from this brand right here. I feel like the tag looks really nice, but I think I'm gonna pass on it, even though I've been really liking this chocolate brown color for fall time. I also found this little graphic tee, but I'm going to pass on it. It's from the brand Tosca. I don't know what that is. And then I love this blouse so much. It's super pretty. It seems really well made. It's like a white, soft, like very boho looking blouse. Has like a little flower detail here in the front, little tassels, but I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to be very selective. I found these jeans right here. They're called Freedom of Choice and they are from Anthropology. Um, they're size 26 and I'm not sure if they're gonna fit me or not. So I'm not sure about these yet. I found this big oversized blazer. I'm gonna try it on in the mirror. I also found this really big coat. It's like green corduroy with like fur. Um, I'm definitely gonna look it up too to see if I want that guy. I'm still torn on this puffer jacket too. So I'll probably try this one on over at the mirror as well. Sorry, it's very loud in here. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just checked out. I got some good stuff, some stuff from my closet, a few things for Everett, a few things for me. I'll show you guys when we get home. Ever got some random stuff in there? He's been waiting in the car because I thrift way longer than him. She's got stamina. I literally got nothing on my list, you guys. I'm kind of sad because I was really hoping to find a cute sweater vest, but it was a no-go, so I'll keep it looking. But I did get some cute like dresses and a few nice things for my closet. Something from Eileen Fisher, which is expensive and a free people dress that's cute so i will show you guys what i got from my closet and for myself when we get home probably tomorrow all right you guys we are back from the thrift store if you hear typing it's because everett and i both kind of have our like office area in our living rooms um so we both kind of like work in the living room and he's working he's working to pay our bills right now so if you hear a little typing everett's with us <laughs> say hi what up folks <laughs> So I haven't currently tried on any of this. I'll try on whatever I can over my overalls that I got going on right here. But uh, other than that, I found this awesome tan teddy coat in the kids section, which was so exciting. This is like a little girl's extra large, which is awesome. So it was way more affordable. I don't remember the price because I've washed it already and it's from Eddie Bauer. So if you're kind of like a size small in women's, sometimes you can get away with checking out the kids section. You guys know I always like look for jeans in the little boys section. And sometimes the arms are a little short, but it looks like this one is pretty good. I tried it on in the little mirror there. 
On the inside, it's just kind of like this slick material, but like definitely very thick. I think it's so cute. I'm excited because I don't have a teddy coat like this. I don't think I might. Sometimes I even find actually adult clothing that's just been like accidentally put in the kids section. You luck out every once in a while and find like Levi's over there or something, you know? So yeah, picked this up. I think I showed you guys this while I was at the thrift store, but I'm not sure. But I found a free people dress, which is so cool. Intimately free, free people dress. It is kind of like that scrunchy material on the top with like little crisscross cami spaghetti strap type straps. And then it is very long and tiered with this gorgeous like orange and cream colored floral print, like large florals. I think this would be really cute if I put it on with a long cardigan for the fall time. Like I definitely would wear this maybe with like brown cowboy boots and then a long like duster cardigan. Not sure if I'm gonna keep this for myself or list it on my closet or wear it a few times and then list it, um, but I was excited. To find this a girl that was in the dresses was like really getting there in there in the dresses so i was so shocked that she left this behind for me to grab after she was done looking through the dresses you guys know i've definitely been all about that 70s print trend that's going on i think that i was watching one of the like fall trends videos and they were saying like wallpaper prints or like yeah, just like 60s and 70s wallpaper prints or like just those funky prints have been really in so i saw this and it is a button-up blouse, and it is from Anne Klein 2 in a size 4, 100% silk, which I was so excited about because it's very, very soft. I absolutely love silk. I think this is so cute. It's almost like, it's not a paisley print, but what do you, it's like a floral, what do you call this, you guys? Tell me if you know the exact name of this type of print because it's not paisley, but it's not floral. It's like right in between. What do you call it? English paisley. <laughs> Paisley. I just thought it was so cute. I honestly would wear this with like a plain pair of, I feel like I could wear this in several different ways. I would wear it with a pair of like slacks if I wanted to look a little bit more dressed up. I would just tuck this into jeans if I wanted to do that. A silk is so nice. So yes, picked that up for me into the 70s prints for fall. I saw this in the men's section right as I was checking out men's Cody James, which I've never heard of, size large, long t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt. It, it has an eagle that says USA on the front and on the back it has an USA eagle, love it or leave it. Uh, I don't know about the timing for this one with the state of our country and our climate right now. I'm not gonna get into politics because it's depressing. Um, it's kind of interesting timing to have the love it or leave it USA vibe going on because that's not really like the vibe I'm feeling right now, but I really liked the graphic. So I picked it up. I'll probably just wear this around the house lounging around, but I love that kind of like grungy tattoo motorcycle type graphics in men's clothes. I did end up finding a blazer, which I'm excited about because not only is it plaid, but it is also brownish tannish. Most of my blazers that I own are gray. And so I've been looking for like brown ones. So I found a brown one. This is from Leslie Fay Sportswear Petite. It's vintage, I'm sure. I wouldn't wear it with overalls, obviously but it looks like this. I think it's so cute. I love that like big chunky plaid print that it has going on. I just think it's very fun. I'd wear this over like a dress. I would wear it with like sweats um, or just like a plain shirt and jeans. Super, super cute. This is kind of like the same vibes I was trying to go for when I was thrifting earlier. I didn't find any of the sweater vests, Argyle. I found like nothing. I found a dog sweater. Well, it's not a dog sweater, it's a child sweater, but I'm gonna use it for my dog. I'm gonna cut it up. She got an Argyle sweater, but I could not fit into this. <laughs> I have to keep looking for that like preppy school girl trend that's going on. But this is kind of like, I feel like on the same vibes, like this is very like Blair Waldorf, gossip girl, smart, sophisticated prep school vibes. No, I like it. Ooh, these go with it. I got these shoes. I wouldn't normally get these shoes, but 
like I said, I've been feeling that preppy schoolgirl vibe. So I'm going to try to like, I'm going to see if I wear these. If I don't, then maybe I'll sell them. But I got these. What do you call these? Loafers? They're like loafers or like Oxfords, but with like a chunky heel. They're like heel, heeled loafers. What do you call these, you guys? They're like very schoolgirl. Like, don't I look like with this blazer? Not with overalls, but with this blazer and these shoes, I look like I like went to some like prestigious college or something. <laughs> you guys always help me out in the comments. I love you guys so much for it. Next two things I did get for my Poshmark and Depop closets. You guys still like to see them, so. I got this cute skirt. It is from TNA, which is from Aritzia, which is expensive. I've never bought anything at Aritzia, but I know a lot of people love that store. I think the TNA might be a bit of like household brand, but I totally could be wrong. It's in a size eight, and it is a very long skirt with a very high like slit on one side. Both sides? No, one side. Just this side. High slit. Imagine this in the fall time with booties and a chunky turtleneck neck turtleneck a turtleneck a chunky turtleneck like super super chunky knit this skirt and boots at a coffee shop so cute i love it so that's how i'm gonna try to style it to put it up on my poshmark or depop closets hopefully someone loves it hopefully i'll find tna for myself in the future and then the last thing i ended up picking up was an eileen fisher top this is just a white button-up blouse, button-up shirt, short sleeve. Eileen Fisher is expensive. This shirt actually originally retailed for $158, which to me is like absolute insanity. Who would pay $160 for like such a plain shirt? But Eileen Fisher is a sustainable brand and makes a lot of really good like business wear and basics. When I saw this at Goodwill, I definitely knew I wanted to pick it up. It seems in good care still, no buttons missing or stains, which is hard for white. So yeah, the only thing is the tag is missing from the size. So I would imagine that this is a size large and they have it priced. They have it tagged at a large. That's everything that I got. I got a few things for Everett. He got like some house stuff, like a Bluetooth plug and like, what else did you get? Bluetooth light switch plug that I can turn on light switches with my phone is slightly corny, but it was five bucks. <laughs> I got my friend a signed. Oh yeah. He got a signed King's memorabilia, oh, but it was like. In the crevices. Like, yeah, it was, was hiding. So someone maybe thought it was like valuable and, and like hid it. For sure was, I feel bad. An employee. An employee's. They hid it for. Signed some, gold. Yeah. Probably Anyways. Signed by Jared Wallace. I don't know who that and is. And Jabari Smith. Don't know who those people are because I don't follow sports, but ever got it for our friend and then we had to figure out who his signatures it truly was. Were they real signatures? Was it like a fake signature? They were real. So we gave that to our friend that likes the Kings basketball team. You got that shirt that had those grandpas that says like haters gonna hate. I don't know what shirt you're talking about. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I don't know who these guys, people are. This is a cartoon oh, from the 80s. No, it's not a cartoon. You know who those people are? It's those Muppet guys, yeah. not Muppets. Um, yeah. Are they Muppets? Yeah, yeah not Muppet. Um, they're Muppets. the puppets. Yeah, haters gonna hate. They're the guys that are the. Uh, yeah, they're. <laughs> I didn't realize. I don't know if them. you guys can see that, but I saw they're this. They're grumpy all the time. All the time. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I get it now. I didn't get his shirt. I was like, you want what? And then he got one other thing, but it was in insignificant because I don't remember what it was. So that was it, you guys. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being patient as far as my uploads go. Hopefully, I don't lose power anytime soon. Hopefully, I feel less burnt out to film these videos because I actually have a bunch of them pre-filmed. I have like three to four thrift videos that are pre-filmed that you guys haven't even seen yet and go check out dossier because i genuinely love their fragrances and am obsessed with the lava one and my new angel dupe all right you guys bye bye